These are the front discs from a first generation Honda NSX. In this video, I'm going to skim one in the lathe and one on the mill using a rotary table. First thing I did was make sure the mounting faces were clean using a wire brush as I'm going to use these faces to mount the disc when skimming. I'm using a piece of aluminium from a local scrapyard as a fixture. I started by finding the centre and then drilling and tapping 5 M10 holes on a 4.5 inch or 114.3 millimeter PCD. I then turned down the front of the fixture in the lathe, leaving a spigot of about 4 millimeters depth and a diameter of 70.1 millimeters. This allows me to mount the disc easily and keep the disc running concentric and all the faces parallel during machining. I further modified the fixture off camera to allow me to access the back side of the disc. The disc was bolted down evenly onto the fixture and I also wrapped several elastic bands around the outside of the disc as I find this reduces noise from vibration and gives a better finish. I ran the lathe at around 300 RPM and took a first pass of 0.1mm. Ideally you want to remove as little thickness from the disc as possible and if the thickness gets below the minimum limit it should be scrapped and replaced. I took three passes to clean the face of the disc. I skimmed the back side of the disc while it's still mounted using a boring bar flipped over and running the lathe in reverse. This ensures the front and rear faces of the disc are parallel. The fixture was then moved to the rotary table in the mill for the second disc. Again, I machined the face of the fixture in place to keep the disc faces parallel while machining. The first face took a 0.1mm pass to clean up, followed by a light finishing pass. The finishing pass was taken by raising the knee at the start of the cut and lowering it at the end, all whilst the rotary table was still turning. This avoids leaving tool marks on the disc surface. I then removed the disc, flipped it over and bolted it back down. An indicator was run on the first machined face to check the second face would be parallel. There was about 1 thou or 0.02 millimeters axial run out. The second face was then cut in a similar way to the first, but taking two passes of 0.1 millimeters to clean up the surface. I turned the rotary table as slowly as possible on the finishing pass in order to get a good surface finish. This will be much easier and more consistent with a powered rotary table or even a battery drill on the handwheel. Here are the skimmed discs. I've checked the mounting faces and the brake faces are parallel and they are within about 0.02 of a millimetre axial run out. It's about a bit under a thou. The finish is pretty good. I probably could have got a better finish on the milled disc if I'd taken a bit more care, but it's not too bad. These discs are just over their minimum thickness, but I'm going to scrap them anyway because I was only using them as a demonstration. Normally you'd find the minimum thickness of these discs on the edge stamped in, but obviously that's corroded away. So you'd have to check the workshop manual or sometimes there written on the inside of the edge here. Personally I would only skim discs if the replacements are very difficult to find or are very expensive and I'd only do it for my own vehicles. I'll be uploading a video soon on skimming a brake drum. The process is similar to skimming a disc in the lathe. If you're interested feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.